uh, yeah, fishing football. Um, like I said in my other videos, I wanted uh, a coaching fire, any coaching fire. I just wanted something. Um, I, I didn't get it when I woke up this morning. That's what I said. I, I wanted it when I woke up this morning. But guess what? Uh, I'm going to get it when I go to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm going to sleep well because of it. Uh, the, uh, Florida fires Todd Grantham and John Hevesy, defensive coordinator and offensive line coach. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I'm happy about this. This is good for us. I mean, it's good. It, 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 this is well past due, which is really the problem. Um, y, y, you know, and, and let me just get into that. I mean, uh, Todd Grantham and, 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 and possibly uh, John Hevesy should have been fired at the end of last year. But Todd Grantham definitely, and, and the fact that this took this long is a problem. Uh, and, and it's a problem with Dan Mullen. Um, it, the, the fact that they're not, they haven't fired him yet. Are they going to fire him? I don't know. Um, but this was his responsibility. This this was his team. This was his. This is his job. He makes seven mil a year. He makes over seven mil a year. Um, so, you know, the fact that it's it's come to this point, I, I really feel like Scott Strickland literally had to, to to jump in, which I said he needed to do. Uh, but he had to jump in and and pretty much make a decision and 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 tell Dan Mullen what he needed to do. And unfortunately, man, I mean, I think that's really what, what happened. I, I think that they had a, a big team meeting, uh, a big, you know, staff meeting, and, and Scott Strickland pretty much said he's not going to deal with the fan base anymore and that you've got to do something or, or else we're going to fire you next. And it might, it, I don't know, it, it might save Dan Mullen his job. I don't know. He, he's going to have to bring in elite recruiters on defense. And Ty Grantham didn't recruit bad on defense, but – the scheme was just horrible. I, let me just give you a quick stat. I mean, Florida hasn't had a pick six. Uh, had a, had, they haven't had a pick six since 2019 LSU to win the game. Other than, I mean, Florida has not, the scheme is just not where it needs to be. And that's because of Dodd Grantham. And so cool. You know, we fire him. That's great. But like I said, it's came to this point because Dan Mullen's got, he's let it, get to this point I, I it's, he's let it get this bad he he's refused to you know start the better quarterback he's refused to play the best players he, you know we have two five-star running backs that are just sitting on the bench by the way that's just a random fact uh in case you didn't know but like I said he's he's not he's not made the decisions to fire any coach that needs to be fired um you, you know there's just so many changes that he's just ignored he's ignored uh and so really the question right now is you know, if you fire these, I mean, look, I'm I'm happy right now. Okay, we fired the defensive coordinator and we fired the offensive line coach, and, and because they they've the defensive coordinator position has has he he's he he's outworn his welcome. I mean, he's been horrible. Uh, he's been fucking horrible. But you know, and then the offensive line coach has not been well. You know, he's not been good as well. But we got to ask ourselves at this point. Is Dan Mullen the coach that's going to bring us to the promised land? You know, he's, is he going to make Florida great? Uh, you, you know, uh, you, he can sit around and, and look, it's a bad year this year. That's that's fine. I understand that. And next year, do I think that we could win nine games, ten games? Yeah, I do. Um, but with, with recruiting this way, which is not going to get better, by the way, but with recruiting this way, uh, is, it gonna, is Dan Mullen going to be able to make this team where Florida standards want to be? And the answer is no. It's just no. Uh, so – you know, I, I say all that to say, I mean, like, you know, you know, with all this going on and, and all this bad shit we've seen, look, I mean, next year is probably going to be an okay year if he still is, is here and no, but if he makes, you know, staff changes, uh, I mean, look, I, I don't, you know, he can make a staff change. He can, he could hire the best defensive coordinator in the nation and we could have a great defense next year. I still don't think he can just manage this team. I mean, I think the pressure is too high. I, I think the program is too big. I think I think he's just too a little bit a little bit sensitive. Uh, you can tell in his press conferences. I just think it's just not the right job for him. Um, and that's just being me being honest. Uh, I, I do love that we're firing these people, but I don't think it means anything really for the program at this point. Um, like I said, uh, we can win 10 games next year uh, easily because of just how good he is at offensive scheming. And then maybe he can rely on the defensive coordinator or, or his staff. Uh, but, uh, man, you know, he's just more fit to be an offensive coordinator of an elite team than to be a head coach of an elite team. And I think that's, that's shown. Uh, 
So, I, you know, I don't know what else I have to say. Um, if anybody wants to defend Mullen on a head coaching thing, that's fine. I mean, you can refer to Mississippi State. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I don't, I don't trust anybody that's doing me like this as far as a head coach. And, and I don't trust stripper's name, Tiffany. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, so we'll see you.